Have you ever pondered why some foods make us feel full and energized for longer periods of time than others? This is where the concept of glycemic index comes into picture. Glycemic index tells us how quickly our blood glucose level increases after a meal. This was invented in order to help diabetes patients manage diabetes effectively. Now, even if you're not diabetic, this still matters because food can be divided into two categories depending on glycemic index. High glycemic index foods and low glycemic index foods. High glycemic index foods like your heavily processed foods, sugary snacks, all of them on consumption, they are converted immediately to glucose. And our body is so tuned to using glucose as primary source for energy production. This implies that you are often subjected to energy crashes and hunger cravings. In contrast, low glycemic index foods like your fruits, vegetables, legumes, oats, they release energy slowly, helping you stay fuller for longer periods of time. The energy level is enough to help you maintain a steady focus throughout the day. There are several studies showing that if you consume a diet rich in low glycemic index food, it may support long-term health. However, I have to point out here that glycemic index alone cannot be the best indicator of how good or healthy your diet is only because glycemic index measures your blood glucose raise on empty stomach. For instance, if you take example of a healthy fruit like watermelon, it has high glycemic index. That does not make it unhealthy. So the idea is not to track glycemic index obsessively but use it as a tool to make smarter food choices if you know of any other healthy fruit or vegetable having glycemic index which is high let me know in the comments thank you